Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is August 27th, 2020, and uh, we're going to be taking some of the onions out today in um, the one vegetable garden. And you can see here how large some of these onions got for us. Now, um, one thing that was done, uh, we did pull some of the ground away from the bulbs so that they could grow. Now, down in the hollow garden, um, the onion bulbs are actually, they busted the soil themselves to grow. And uh, there's some really large onion bulbs down there. And uh, another thing, um, it was very dry this year. Uh, we went about three weeks without rain. So um, we were just, you know, trying to keep stuff watered as much as we could to keep it alive and uh, then we did finally get rain and uh, they're calling for rain for us again today but um, we're going to be taking some of these out and you can see some of them the stalks are falling over on them uh, that's when it's time for those to come out and um, the one bed that um, the one raised bed that we had the onions planted in, those are out already. They were um, Walla Wallas and some Red of Florence onions in there. So we already have those out and drying. And these are some beautiful red onions here okay so um, we're gonna start pulling some of the onions here now this one here you can see how it's laying over here like this so this one here is ready to uh, come out this one here that one rotted there that's what you don't want to happen so let's see here we have there's one there right in front of you there So we're going to be pulling out the ones that the tops are falling over or uh, they're like this here. Like, there we go. Here's one here we're going to take out here. You can see the stem starting to fall over and you can feel here that it's not like these over here are. So you can see a difference in the stem here. This one here, it's soft. And you can see it on this one here too. The stems are soft. That's why they're not standing anymore. And you can see like these right here, I'm not gonna press on it, but you can see there's a difference in the stalks there. So um, one of the things that we have to watch here is that these don't rot on us. So now these white ones here are uh, the Southport White Globe Onions. And they do have a Southport Red Globe too. And uh, what I notice about the Southports is uh, they do hold their flavor very well when cooked. Um, so to me, um, for what I taste from them, they're a good cooking onion because um, I just, I notice the onion flavor more when I use the South Ports than um, some of the other ones. So we're going to start pulling these here. Now uh, this one here, the stalk was not falling over on it, but you can see here um, it's rotted there. So i uh, got to get that one out of there. Now that's a different variety. Um, having a little bit of a problem finding the tags, so uh, I'm not sure which variety that one is yet. Now um, this onion here is not ready to, to be taken out yet, but I just wanted to show you is how large this one here is and it is still growing the tomato plant was covering it some 
So, um, after we uh, harvested the onions out, uh, we laid them out on tables, chairs, screens, and uh, we're cutting the tops of the onions off. And uh, we're letting these dry then. So, um, these are laying on the screen now to dry. And we've been using... And um, we've been using a lot of onions. We've been making spaghetti sauces. And uh, we've been doing um, a lot of cooking with them. So these here are all drying here. They've all had the tops cut off of them. And what we do is when we're going through them, we look for any that are soft. Um, any that are... Uh, trying to uh, go bad on us and we take them out and we get those used first so there's still a lot of onions out in the garden and uh, down in the hollow garden but um, we took the ones out where the tops were falling over so um, here's more onions here on this table And uh, this here is uh, the Chuska onion here. This holds its flavor very well in cooking. We've been using it a lot and um, really has a nice flavor to it. And over here is some Red of Florence. Now we had a lot more of these. Uh, my mom made spaghetti sauce and that really held its flavor very well in the spaghetti sauce. It really had a nice um, onion flavor to it along with all the other spices. So um, these are definitely going to be keepers for us here. Uh, back here we have um, some Southport red globes. And these here and these here are the Withersfield red onions here. has a nice um, sort of like a pinkish color skin to it. And then back here over here. This here is uh, the Southport White Globe onion here. Now they do have um, a Southport Yellow Globe onion. Uh, I've never been able to find seeds for that though. So um, still looking for that one. So um, that's how we uh, dry our onions now. Um, it takes about 10 days or more to dry your onions. And uh, unfortunately what happened with these, they would have been dried more, but um, on the day when we harvested them, we put them out here and uh, the one storm that went through, the rain came the opposite way and uh, it actually came under the porch and it soaked everything. So um, they had to uh, restart the drying process. I mean, everything was soaked. We rarely get rain that comes that way. But um, that particular storm, it just poured. And the wind was just blowing the rain under here. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!